Hi folks, uh, back again, Bathroom Chronicles on the road. Uh, from some of the comments, uh, uh, some of you folks out there who are stopping in pretty regularly, I believe are trying to decide whether you're going to buy a trailer uh, or uh, are in the process of getting ready to pick one up. Um, primarily what I'm going to talk about now is, is going to be really aimed at the new folks, especially folks who have never owned a trailer before and uh, are trying to decide if they're going to, you know, buy one. And uh, that's really who this is aimed at. I bought, uh, oops, let me get the old watch going. I bought uh, this trailer never having spent a night in a camping trailer. And uh, uh, I went to an Airstream dealer and looked around and then eventually came back to uh, uh, the Casita for all the reasons that, you know, you guys uh, are interested in them. Well built and so on and so forth, lightweight, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I was extremely apprehensive uh, when I headed for Texas. I'll be candid with you. You know, here's an old guy batting around the country, picking up a trailer, and he knows absolutely nothing about any of this stuff. I think the only edge if you will, that I had was the fact that I had lived on a boat for three years. So of course I know about the confined spaces, if you will. Uh, but other than that, boy, I was, you know. And I really had thought uh, that what I would most likely do is pick this trailer up, feel really uncomfortable, whatever that means, and blaze back home, stopping at uh, Walmarts and Flying J's and Cracker Barrels and, and things like that. Somewhere along the way, I, I decided, hey, wait a minute, you're either going to be out camping, whatever that means, or you're going to have this thing in your driveway. Now, what are you going to do? Uh, fortunately, I, I have the time at the moment, uh, you know, I can hang out and do what I want, so to speak. I uh, somewhat jokingly said, but it's the truth. I for some reason went and bought some new pill containers and I uh, brought uh, 28 days of meds. <laughs> so I have to get home, you know, sometime. And of course I have my pup at the pup spa. So in fact, I just, uh, my brother just sent me a note today. He had checked with them to see how much food was left. So he's gonna take over some more food. I left them 20 uh, days uh, supply of food. What am I working up to here? Uh, I can only speak for myself, and uh, my tow vehicle, as we call them, is a Honda Ridgeline. And boy, does this thing, uh, there's absolutely no problems with the towing. There really isn't. And I would imagine as long as you have, a, a, you know, a car or a truck or what have you, SUV or something, with similar horsepower and everything, I would imagine, uh, you know, it will pull with no trouble. Now, I didn't get the uh, weight distribution stuff, and I didn't get the sway bars. Uh, my salesman uh, told me, he said, if you want, just try it and see what happens, and, you know, add things, if, you know, add whatever you think you need. It, it's, it's really nice because you just hook the little guy up and take off, and you don't have all that paraphernalia there. Now, I'm not bragging what I'm going to talk about now. Uh, I'm really not. In fact, it was, I'm sure, foolhardy. But uh, I basically drove about 75 miles an hour from Texas trying to run away from the weather. You know, had that horrible storm out there. And I shouldn't have driven 75 miles an hour. And I'm not, you know, and I don't think it's cute or manly or any of that BS. But boy, that thing, just like a, I mean, just not a speck of sway or anything. And this was in sometimes windy conditions and pouring down rain at times. Uh, now, my gas mileage went to just about nothing, went down to uh, in the nines, 9.3, 9.7, things like that. And I know one thing, my new deal is real simple. I'm going to get in the right lane and drive about 60 miles an hour. Uh, to begin with, I, you know, I think part of this camping experience, if you will, is relaxing and taking it easy. and. Uh, that's the way I'm going to approach it, you know, from here on. I've been in this campground now for, 
Well, anyway, this is day 13 in the trailer, and I've been here, let me see, three, six, eight. I've signed up for 11 days here, uh, and I may stay longer, uh, and I'm sure I'm repeating myself from, from, uh, you know, from some of my previous posts, but, uh, I mean, how can you do much better than this, and what, what do I want to accomplish by loading up going off down the road and driving a couple hundred miles or something. I mean, this this is just an uh, absolutely terrific place. And I now have a few pals, if you will, in the area. And uh, it's it's really nice. You know, you just hang out. And uh, if, if they're out walking, and they'll come by and talk. And, you know, they're just truly delightful people around here. Uh, what else? Was, okay, let me see. Yeah, do I have complaints about the trailer? Well, I've gone on and on about this before, but I'm going to try and summarize everything here. Uh, yes, the sink sucks, the big one. Uh, it, it truly does. Uh, but, you know, that's just the way it is. What I did yesterday is uh, a few days ago, I went to Walmart and I bought a 12, no, 10-inch covered skillet. And if you watch the uh, uh, one about the chili, you can see it's a pretty big guy. Um, and man, that is a moose to 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 try and wash in that in that crazy little sink. So I was out yesterday. I I went to a Dollar General or uh, one of those kinds of stores. I I wanted to get a box cutter. I ended up buying a bunch of crap. They didn't have any box cutters. But I saw this. I think it's a six-inch skillet, little tiny guy and uh, like five or six bucks, so I bought that. So I think part of this uh, little small uh, 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 sink and also the limited uh, area to cook in, I think you can overcome that to some extent by what, uh, uh, you know, by your cooking utensils or whatever, you know. And, and so I'm. So last night I made a meal using this little guy, and it was fine. And uh, of course, it takes five seconds to clean it, and it actually fits fits in the sink. The other thing I'm not real keen on is the shower, but I knew what it was. So you know, this this really, uh, you know, come on. Uh, now what I did do was yesterday I went to West Marine. I bought uh, four of those uh, dry deck or whatever things there. Uh, it, it literally took me, I doubt if it took more than 10 minutes to uh, put it together, flop it down there, measure it, you know, put it down because you have to cut some off. Come out here, uh, cut, the, cut the little pieces off, and boy, that thing looks, looks great. But the main thing is, is to get your feet off the diagonal floor. And uh, also, uh, uh, you know, if, like if, if you, when you shower, if you're going to have to go back in there for any reason, you're going to be in water and all that kind of stuff. But this, uh, definitely get those uh, those dry deck things. Or f yeah, four of them, I think I paid $7 a piece or something. And I'm sure you can find them cheaper somewhere. But hey, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, so <laughs> I went to West Marine. Get those. The storage is fine. Now, I'm, I've got the uh, floor plan that has the big table in the back and the on the other side has a two little seats or whatever, and I folded the, the table down. I'm using that for a bed, and there is tons of storage under there. I think the only problem uh, with, with the storage that I'm finding is I brought so much junk with me that every time I wanted something, I'm going through hundreds of boxes. Eh, not hundreds, but you know what I mean. So I went to Walmart, yes, Walmart, and I, I bought, I don't know how many of these plastic storage boxes, all different sizes. And for the past two or three days, I've been dorking around trying to get everything organized. So when I need a battery, I know where it is. When I need a, a battery charger for a camera, I know where it is. And get that stuff organized. Uh, the, uh, what else? Wi-Fi. I went and bought Wi-Fi uh, about a, a week ago. And it has been driving me crazy. And it's a 40 mile round trip to uh, the Wi-Fi place. The people are delightful, but man, this thing has just about driven me nuts. I've made four trips 
now it's working now and I think it's going to be okay and I'm hoping it's going to be okay but also since it's so expensive I have I think a three gigabyte and I'm, I'm new to all this kind of stuff I don't know what half of this stuff means but I have this uh, three gigabyte plan and uh, of course uploading these uh, these videos sucks a lot of that out so what I've been doing is like I'll make a tape go in and you know process it on the computer and get it ready to upload and then I'll uh, have breakfast uh, pretty routinely I've been having breakfast at McDonald's uh, oh and by the way I need to mention if you're my age you get that senior coffee which I had never heard about and uh, I think it's 57 cents and you get refills <laughs> my neighbor told me about that one but you can go to McDonald's and you know hang out for an hour hour and a half or whatever have your breakfast and if you are doing YouTube kinds of things that take a lot of energy or whatever you call it, big files or something, you can go there and upload these things. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, I bought Good Sam uh, and it seemed pretty reasonable. I can't remember how much it was. I think it's about a hundred dollars and my understanding is they uh, that covers your car and your trailer so if something happens uh, it's my understanding they'll tow that trailer to the closest place uh, that can uh, uh, repair it and it's my understanding they'll come out and change your tires and do things like that and it's pretty reasonable and it's also my understanding there are no limitations as to how many times you can use it and it's my understanding there are no deductibles or anything so like if you're out in the middle of the desert or something and uh, you, you, you know, something happens, they're gonna tow you to the closest place. Let me pause this and come back. I might be running out of time here. And too far from the camera, this thing isn't working. Anyway, I'll be back. 